Hey guys, so today we're going to be doing another tutorial. This time we're going to be doing a pink and white. Um, the color that we're going to be using today is a new one that we just launched called Brown Girl Magic. We're doing one of my favorite types of pink and whites ever, and that is a deep smile line pink and white. So we're going to dip our brush into the monomer, grab a nice pearl, and we're going to apply that around the cuticle area and kind of let gravity do its job and uh, bring this pearl down. But we don't want to get too lazy. We want to make sure as gravity is helping us bring this down that we're helping it along too by kind of pressing against the edges and creating almost like a bird beak or an almond. Um, that's how you're going to get a deep smile line. Some people like it a little less, I guess, happy. Um, but I like my smile line to look like it just stole something and it has like a really deep smile on it. Um, this part here, super important. When you're doing this type of pink and white, you don't want to leave your um, almond a little bit on the thinner side because your white will overpower it. So you want your uh, your pink to be a little more thicker. Thicker than your white anyway. So we're just going to go ahead and put a secondary layer on there. Okay, so now this is the fun part. It looks a little messy, guys, but do not panic. The end result is going to look amazing. Yeah, and when I mean messy, it literally looks super messy. You're pretty much just applying your white acrylic as even as you can get it. As we all know, white acrylic has a little tendency to bounce back at you. So uh, you want to get your brush a little more on the wet side. I personally love using white because it looks good, but I hate the way that it kind of settles. It's like you can't really control it. It doesn't really ever want to dry on your time. It kind of wants to dry on its own time. And it that's why it's like so bouncy and sticky. Um, but hey, it creates beautiful nails and who doesn't love a good pink and white? So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna keep pressing this down until we have a full decent amount of acrylic on there. Make sure you're not doing this portion too thin either because you don't want it to look funny. Okay, so it looks like I'm almost done here. I want to let this dry and then the fun part is about to happen. This portion. Now, I actually sped through this a little bit because I was having a hard time downloading the video. I really wish I would have had the opportunity to like go a little slower to really show you guys how it really looks. Um, but hey, it's not too fast, so you're getting the point of it. So as you can see, I'm passing over the e-file and I'm pretty much bringing both of those colors into one layer. But as I'm doing that, the smile line is kind of like revealing itself in the process. I'm just gonna keep filing a little more until I can get it to a nice even amount. And then I'm gonna move on to using my hand file. I personally don't like to leave nails just, um, kind of like just done with the e-file alone. I feel like it kind of just makes it look like uneven and kind of not as visually appealing. I just feel like a full set, any type of nail in general has to get finished with a hand file. I just feel like it makes it look so much more cleaner. Oh, and of course, you've got to buff this out. I don't know. Some people, I'm not sure if people skip the buffing portion or why their nails don't look as even, but you guys have to remember that Buffing is super important, especially after you're done doing a full set because you don't want to lumps and bumps anywhere, and that pretty much really helps. Oh, now this is the good part. I almost want to stay quiet and just watch this, but obviously I've got to explain it. When you're grabbing your gel, make sure that you're not flooding the cuticle area with gel because it will dry, and then that's going to cause chipping if you have gel on the skin. So you want to be very careful with that. And I almost wish I would have gotten a little bit closer so you could see this color. Um, again, this color is the uh, new Brown Girl Magic that we were using for the pink and white. The camera's about to zoom in a little bit, so we're going to get a little closer. Oh, wow, look at that.